Morgan to Tennessee, Confederate Railroad.
Thank you so much. Here's another hit record about a time I fell in love with a northern woman. That old blonde head gal, yeah, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Took her home to Tennessee. My family wouldn't have nothing to do with her. But I found out she's a big fan of two things we hold very sacred here in the Southeast. That being a Elvis Presley and a Andy Griffith show. shows in my life, but I haven't ever had this good of weather on the 4th of July. This is nice. This is great. Usually we lose five or six pounds. Yes. You can tell we ain't played a lot of hot shows yet this day. <laughs> you know, back before we were doing Confederate Railroad Records, all of us work for different artists in the music business, and every show I do, I like to go back and pay tribute to some of my former employers. First, I want to take you back to the 1980s with myself and Mark back here. He used to work for a great country music singer by the name of Johnny Paycheck. Y'all may have some of you remember old Paycheck? We worked with old Paycheck after he went back to prison that last time. So we'll do this for Paycheck and anybody else here that ever spent the night in jail. You don't have to raise your hands, people. Put this on our chief thrills, have a tribute to John. 11 months and 29 days, boy! <laughs> Oh, 
goes back to prison, Mark and I choose to live and work elsewhere. Went to work for a man that just got out of prison. Country music's a lot different 40 years ago. Went to work for a man in the name of David Allen Coe. Yeah, got some Coe fans here now. We were David's band right up. We got the Confederate Railroad deal. Still talk to David every once in a while. He'll be 83 years old this year. That's a tough old buzzard right there. I first got this song in 1982, then a couple years later I talked David into recording it. But he left out my favorite verse, so we put it on the first Confederate Railroad album one last time. So tune of ours, I need a little time off for bad behavior. <laughs> Jack and David Allen Cole. Now, folks, after spending most of my adult life with those two gentlemen, it's no wonder I didn't turn out to be a saint. But I am a man of faith, and I was very proud to have this our first number one record. It's called Jesus and Mama. They wish upon a star, I could paint up a brand new car. I got tired of wishing, so it's told me one. Seventeen feet at all. My dreams are big, but my thoughts were small. So many roads, so high, I chose the wrong one. But Jesus and I always left me. This 
years ago. The very first thing I did, went out and bought me a nice big fancy house. It's a neighborhood in my hometown, Chattanooga, Tennessee. My ex-wife just sold that house a couple years ago. But back in happier times, we moved in there and one of the neighbors came up to me one day and he said, you know, when we found out you was moving in the neighborhood, we had a community meeting. Come to find out there's a great concern about the hillbillies moving in. Rather than get upset with him, cause the big ruggers chose to take the high road, do the Christian thing. So I turned the other cheek, went back in the house, and I wrote him this song. So here's one of my former neighbors at the Mountain Shadow Subdivision. I'd like to thank my old buddy Toby Keith for naming his album after this and a couple years later. It's a old tune of mine called White Trash with Money. Yeah. <laughs>
cheaper than it's in bands. couple of wealthy ex-wives. Speaking of that ex-wife that sold that house of mine, I've written several songs about that old gal over the years. Early in their relationship, wrote some of the sweetest love songs ever put down on paper. Here's what I wrote as was going through the divorce. I'd come to see a whole different side of her at this point. Back the side of my music. Did I say the deck over the microphone? Come down to put this on the record. I thought there might be some legal repercussions, so I got Mo to sing it. So here's Mo to sing a song I wrote about my ex-wife, the man I am today, Mo Thaxton Frank. <laughs>
playing up right there. Thank y'all. Woo! It's a little creepy, then. She got a little creepy there toward him. I'll bet. Yeah, real creepy. Actually, I ain't saying another word about it. Here's one called Bill's Honky Tonk Pig and Line Dance Kick and Razorback Stick and Barbecue Chicken Laundromat Barn Grill. <laughs> This next one's still my favorite. <laughs> Little trivia for you. I was told one time this was Mickey Mantle's favorite song. I remember thinking, man, how cool is that that Mickey Mantle was Confederate Railroad Records? I remember waking in the morning. The sound of a rooster's crow. Mama cooking in the kitchen. Arthur got hungry on the radio. Me and Dad 
had were just not strangers. We never did say eye to eye. It came to blows once in the morning. So I had to write a clear statement of that. favorite Confederate Railroad here right there. Smith Hit Records is the title track of our third album. Maybe it's another gold album, another top ten single title. When where? Thank you. 
home for us. Y'all having a pretty good time so far this evening? I always enjoy look forward to coming up here to this part of the country. One of my favorites. Speaking of my favorites, the name George Jones many anything around here. Yeah. Many, many times me and George Jones played down in uh, around Bristol and Johnson City in Kingsport. The old Viking Hall. That story I told about us overeating that day, that was there in Kingsport. Yep. Yep. But George was a big help to me when I first went to Nashville. And uh, after we started having hit records, we toured together off and on for more than 20 years. Now, years ago, me and George decided to make a record together. This never was released as a single, so it never was a big radio hit or anything. But the way I always looked at it, if you ever had the opportunity to make a record with George Jones, you should sing it every chance you get. Yep. And here's what me and George did. It sounds like my home life. She treats her body like a temple, and I treat mine like a honky-tonk. <laughs> She takes a penny in the face, she cooks no fat. Always passes on a better path. She's red for a minute, red for a little. Looks dang good in her birthday suit. She wishes time would fall the line. But most of the time I don't. She treats her body like a temple. I treat mine like a home tone. First hit record. That song's older than a lot of it is here tonight. <laughs> Our very first hit a song called She Took It Like a Man. Yeah. Yeah. Show it break her heart and tear her world in two. 
is my favorite song we do live every half is the title track of our second album on Atlantic Records. You bought more than a million of this one made it her second platinum album in a row. It's called Notorious. <laughs>
Working for people like Mark Wills, Sammy Kershaw from Birmingham, Alabama. Rusty Hendrick. <laughs> Thank you. 
We sure appreciate that. Hey, uh, don't forget, uh, Isky's got the t-shirts and stuff over here. And yes, I did say his name is Isky. Imagine drinking a whole lot one night and not being able to say the complete word of what you're drinking. That's how you get the nickname Isky. And I know most acts don't do this anymore, but I enjoyed meeting y'all. So if you, uh, after the fireworks over, we'll be hanging out over here. If you want to come by and visit, say hello. I'd love to meet you. And uh, y'all, let's see, we got, time, we got time for a few more. They don't start for what, another 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I'm kind of looking forward to this. I like 4th of July. God bless America. And I, also, God bless y'all, man. We've, uh, me and Mark were almost 70 years old. We've been out here for forever. And uh, without child support, we'd had to get a job a long time ago. So thank you so much. And especially these past few years, the grief we've taken over the name Confederate Railroad. Let me tell you something. I love the part of the country I come from. I will never apologize for that. And the name of this band will always be Confederate Railroads. Thank y'all for supporting us on that. You know, I thought about me and Mark working for Johnny Paycheck and David Allen Coe. Talk about Rusty working for Mark Wills and Sammy Kershaw. Any of you old enough to remember the band back in the 70s called Dr. Hook? Yeah, yeah. Most spent 14 years, the band Dr. Hook, before I we get toward the end. You want to do another one of your songs? Yeah, now? You want to do one of your Dr. Hook hits for them? Yeah, yeah, Here we go. Mouth action for you one more time. Hey, Ray! Hey, Sugar! Tell them who we are. Well, we're big rock singers. We got golden bangers. And we're loved everywhere we go. Almost. We sing about beauty and we sing about truth. At ten million dollars a show. We take all kinds of feels and give us all kinds of thrills. The thrill we never found. It's a thrill that'll get you when you get your picture on the cover of a Rolling Stone. Sing it, Rolling Stone. Wanna sing my picture on the Rolling Stone? Yeah. <laughs> 
sixties and seventies. Thanks for in these sixties and seventies. Oh uh, yeah. Woo! Flashback. Way back. <laughs> that was a good one right there too. I mean to tell you, I was about the mid sixties, but I'm coming back. I got one more thing I want to tell y'all. Here we go. We got a lot to do. Good job, Moses. He's also got, he, he came out with his own CD, uh, what, a couple months ago now? Yeah. And he's, he's got them over there going to pick them up called The Mo Show. Yep, and it's Bluegrass, yo. Yep, there you go, know. a Bluegrass album. Did y'all ever list a band called Leonard Skinner up here? You know, I've got to do a lot of really cool things in, over my, the course of my career, working with Coe and Paycheck and George Jones. But one of the coolest we ever got to do was tour with Leonard Skinner years ago. And, uh, you know, when I, was, uh, when I was in college, that was like the coolest thing ever when Skinner came out with Sweet Home Alabama. That was some great stuff. Changed us old redneck boys forever. But uh, I got a call from Gary Rosden one day years ago, and he asked us if they were doing a tribute album, uh, the Skinner Friends album. He asked us to go back and redo an old song of theirs called Simple Man. So here's our contribution to the Skinner Friends album. Thank you for making this another door for us.
Follow your heart And nothing you ever want And you can do this Oh, baby, if you try All that I want for you, my son Is to be satisfied And be so They said I got time for two more before the fireworks go on. I had the weirdest request, the first time I've ever had this request before. They thought it was us. You know, you get a lot of that, people coming up requesting other music by other artists. They thought you were the one that did it. But I've never been asked this before today. They asked us to go back and do a song that uh, I wish it was ours by the Georgia Satellites. Before I did Trashy Women, I promised him I'd do this for him. We remember this. Most call it a telephone, baby. I give you a ride, but any time we talk, I get the same old thing. Always a hubby, no kissy, and then I get a wedding ride. My honey, my baby, don't put my love upon no ship. She said, don't have me no lines and keep your hands to yourself.
out like that. Hey, Mark. How about those trashy women for it in the fireworks? The critics said this was the worst song we ever recorded. They said it was totally tasteless. They said it could only be performed or appreciated by people with a total lack of class. Then y'all went out and bought three million copies of it and we win the Grammy Awards. There you go.